Welcome back to Copycat Friday, guys. My name is Jordan for CineCam.net, and I'm standing again in my LED studio. And that is because I spent so much time and effort into this that I'm going to use it as much as I can. But in reality, this has nothing to do with the video. In fact, we are going to recreate Midnight Snack, a viral video from the Curly Kit Life inside Adobe After Effects, and show you guys how it's done. I know that it seems that I have an LED problem, but I don't. Really, guys, I don't. I think so. If you have been watching Copycat for a while, you probably know that we always make sets, but this- well, for this set, actually, we need a fridge. Our fridge is upstairs, so it would be a little bit too crazy to start moving it downstairs. So instead, we're going to move all of our lights upstairs. I don't know which lights we're gonna use because we're filming upstairs. And upstairs, we don't have enough room to put up our big lights. So I'm contemplating on which lights to use upstairs. By the way, guys, if my lip looks weird, I had a accident on football match last Sunday and I got headbutted. So yeah, headbutt, cut inside lip, bleeding, pain, fat lip now. We are ready with the preparations. Now, before we are going to shoot, we would first like to tell you about something huge. The huge, ever-growing library of today's sponsor, Storyblocks. In their library, with more than 1 million royalty-free, high-quality stock assets, you can find everything your filmmaker heart desires. Like, for instance, cool collections that bundle stock footage for you, making the search so much easier. And this all from HD to 4K resolution. Besides that, you also have time-saving After Effects templates and templates for your Premiere Pro projects, epic music for your video projects, sound effects to go with that video and much more. Now with all the projects you have running and deadlines that are coming closer, you find yourself lacking time. Luckily, Storyblocks will help you to bring your stories to life without sacrificing time, budget or resources. They always helped us to tell our story in the best possible way. A great example for this was our Rotoscope 2.0 video. In this video we explain how the new Rotoscope tool from After Effects works while showing a very cool dance video. However, to spice it all up, we used various Storyblock assets like this Fire Motion Graphics Pack. But they also have a ton more of these cool motion graphics, which we use very often. And to top that off, you can download an endless amount of assets from their library with the unlimited All Access plan. So that means you can download their entire library for one single price. That's insane! So definitely make sure to check it out. You can click the link in the description below or go straight to storyblocks.com slash cinecom here we go again <laughs> oh shit you see uh blocks kiss cubes six pack uh, for all the ladies watching right now uh, aren't you engaged jordy uh yeah <laughs> now it's shooting time but what are we going to need well Three tripod shots. First one of the main talent opening up the fridge, lifting up their shirt and doing some acting. For later tracking, we also place some tracking markers on their belly and sides, really making sure we can get our tracking right in post production. The second shot is going to be a close up of our talent's mouth. We use me for this because Jordy's beard is too big and the effect would be a lot harder with such a voluptuous beard. So pick a talent with not too much facial hair and then film their mouth. To make it ourselves easier, we of course are going to place my head on something stable so it won't move too much. Much. We added two tracking markers on my face to help us out in post-production, as you can see right here. We also added a blue screen to the background to easily keep my face out. And the reason we decided to use a blue screen instead of a green screen is because of the lights in the fridge. And we are shooting in front of the fridge because our mount needs to have the same lighting conditions as our first shot. What we also did was mimicking the t-shirt shadow going up and down on the talent's face. We just used a black cloth for this to block out the light. This way we don't have to paint in shadows later on. Of course, 
course this needs to be timed correctly, just like the rest of the mount acting. That's why we first made our frig shot and used this as a time reference for both the acting and the fake t-shirt shadows. And the last shot is going to be our milk pouring in front of a black background. This way we can easily remove the black and single out the milk with a blending mode. And that is what you need for this effect. I'm trying to get a sleepy look. Is this sleepy? Oh yeah guys, have you pressed the thumbs up button yet? I don't think so. Go do that right now. Thumbs up. In After Effects, place your original shot in a composition. And our first step is going to be the tracking of the talent's belly. We are going to use the tracking motion option for this and add the tracking data to a null object. Next, let's place our mouth shot into a composition and sync the two shots. Because we timed everything, syncing will be easy. However, if the timing doesn't match, simply use some time remapping. Then it's time to remove the blue background in the mouth shot by using the key light effect. And also stabilize the shot. Stabilizing is mandatory to composite the two shots together. And now let's pre-compose the mouth flare and do some masking. However, because we're going to use Mocha AE for the masking, we need to render the mouth shot. Why? Well, because Mocha has trouble with pre-composed layers. So just render the mouth clip with an alpha layer and once done, place the render inside the pre comp layer. Then we just add the Mocha effect to the render to create our mask. Click on the Mocha logo in the effect controls panel and this will open up a new window, the Mocha window. With the spline tool, let's select the part of the mouth that we're going to need. Track forward and save once done. We can now close the window and back in After Effects, let's go to the effect controls panel. Here we're going to apply the matte option and increase the feather a bunch. And there we go, our mouth shot is masked out. Super easy. Next, let's go back to our main composition. Here we can position, scale and rotate our mouth to fit on the belly. And if you have the wanted position, you can also parent the mouth to the null object with the tracking data. But now you can see that our masking isn't that great. So with a few animated masks on our pre-composed mouth layer, we can remove the excess parts. Then something very important, removing Jordy's original belly behind the mount. We use an empty shot for this that we place behind the mount and with some well precise masking we remove the belly. Once done we have a mount sticking on Jordy's belly and now it's a matter of adding details. Like bringing back the t-shirt lift in the beginning and the drop in the end. We simply duplicated our main clip, rotoscope the t-shirt and place that on top of everything. Super easy. Another detail is the milk. With the light and blending mode we can remove the black background and use a mask to remove the parts that we don't want. Next, we matched our milk clip in timing and positioning and of course we tracked the original milk bottle so we can attach our milk stream to this. Then if needed we can use the puppet pin tool to direct our milk stream towards the mouth. And voila, another part is done. For the chocolate bar we actually took a duplicate of a frame where the bar is completely in the screen, masked it out and animated to fly in the mouth. Then remove the original one and Again, donezo. We are really flying through this video, however, we have one major detail that will really sell the effect. The movement of the skin from Jordy's belly. We are going to link that to the movement of the mouth. For this we need to go back in the pre-composed mouth layer and do some tracking in Mocha. So add a new Mocha effect to the mouth clip. In the Mocha window, let's track a small part of the mouth. For example, the top right side. Once tracked, save everything and close the Mocha window. Back in After Effects, we can now create some tracking data. In the effect controls panel, look for the create track data button and click on it. In our timeline we can now see a lot of tracking keyframes. However, we don't need them all. We're going to select and copy the center keyframes and paste those to a new null object. This null we're going to move to our main composition. But before we can start linking skin movement to mouth movement, we first need to single out the talent's belly. So we duplicated the original clip and rotoscoped the belly. Next we pre-composed our rotoscoped belly and now we can start with linking stuff. The first step, look for a birthmark or something else on the belly that is close to our track part of the lip. Here we're going to move our null object to. To move the null on all his keyframes at the same time, we first need to select all those keyframes and in the program monitor we can now drag them around simultaneously. Once in place, take the puppet pin tool and on the pre-composed belly layer, we are now going to create a puppet pin point on the same place as our birthmark. Also create multiple puppet pins on the edge of the belly, this will make sure the edge isn't going to move around. Now in the puppet pin effect, look for our puppet point that we want to link. Take the pick whip tool and parent the point to the position of our tracked lip null object. Object. Also, don't forget to increase the expansion option of the puppet pin effect to make it work properly. Keep repeating this process for various locations, like for example the connection of the belly and lips. And if done correctly, your skin will now move together with the mouth. For the last step, remove the weird errors the puppet pin tool creates with the simple mask. And of course, color correct your mouth to match the skin tone of the belly. And that's it!
Oh, sorry guys, I was just admiring my LED panels again because I spent so much time and effort into this, so you're probably gonna see it in every video now. Anyways, here on my left side, you can find more video magic tricks either using After Effects or Premiere Pro, and while you're at it, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button to help the YouTube algorithm spread our video across the website. Thank you so much for watching, thank you Storyblocks for the support, and as always, stay creative. You know, aren't these looking beautiful?